Welcome to the History Corner, where Steve Steiger and I are going to talk about the history behind El Palo Alto. Steve, what's the accepted history regarding the tall tree? Well, the story is, is that Portola's party came to this area in 1769 and camped near El Palo Alto. Residents of San Mateo County prefer to think that he camped on the San Mateo or Menlo Park side, and residents of Palo Alto prefer to think that he camped under the tree on the Palo Alto, Santa Clara side. So there's a geographical dispute going on here. So where did Portola really come from to see this tree? Well, he came out of the hills to the west. Coming down, he, had, he was looking for Monterey Bay and did not find it. Uh, discovered San Francisco Bay instead and was trying to come around it. Could not do so and finally came out of the hills down on the valley floor in this area. That's not disputed. What is disputed is whether he actually camped beside this tree or perhaps another redwood tree along the creek. I, I like things like this that keep historians busy for years. Uh, what's the current status of the tree? Well, of course, as we notice today, that it is a single trunk tree. Sometime in the 1880s, one of the trunks fell in a storm. We don't know the exact date because no one was around to really record it. But the single trunk tree today remains uh, here alongside the creek, just downstream from the railroad bridge. And I noticed that the city or somebody has put up some plaques. What do you know about those? Well, the plaques are to celebrate the history of the entire creek drainage system, including the, the biological history, the people's history, and other things of that nature. So this would be a pleasant walk for somebody to walk by and see history in the making? Oh, definitely so, and especially to see El Palo Alto, which is the symbol of both Palo Alto and Stanford University. Well, thanks very much, Steve.